A battle of the best. Eastside takes on Leicestershire, Ura takes on the Foxes, as two championship giants go head to head in a battle for promotion. Today will be loud, atmospheric, and certainly a fantastic match to watch, but can Borough hurt the wounded Foxes and go and get a massive three points? Yes, today is massive, as Middlesbrough take on Leicester City in the 16th round of the most exciting, most competitive, and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. Now, I'm absolutely buzzing to go today. There's no doubt it's the biggest championship game this week and a battle between two championship giants that I believe should be in the Premier League. Now, Leicester does not need an explanation. They're top of the league for a reason. Jamie Vardy, Kieran Dewsbury, and Wilfred Ndidi in the championship. They should walk the league, and they are. But they are wounded. They lost last week to Leeds. It was a narrow defeat, 1-0. And that gives Borough a lot of confidence going into this game. And I'll be honest, can Borough do it? I believe they can. I mean, Borough have some fantastic fans that will back them no matter what. And yes, they've lost a lot of very good players from last season. Chu Brackpon, Ryan Giles, Cameron Archer, Aaron Ramsey. But the way Michael Carrick gets into the lads, even if they've not got the quality on paper, they're still, for me, a championship playoff contender. And I know they're around the bottom to start the season, but they've worked their way up gradually. They've overtaken my team, Hull City, and it won't be long until they're in around the playoffs and could even possibly push for automatic promotion. Today, we're at the Riverside in the atmosphere section. Me mother, me father and myself are going to be ultra supporting Borough for the day. And I'm absolutely buzzing to see the atmosphere, get amongst the limbs and see some quality, quality players. I'll see you when we get down there. It's about an hour and a half journey. The time's about 11 o'clock. So we should have plenty of time for a bit of food, a toilet break, a service break and a few score predictions. Up them Tigers as they're playing other field. Should beat them today. Hopefully we can. And up the Borough and Leicester as well. All right, let the journey begin. Oh, I'll tell you what, the north of England is blooming beautiful. Just beautiful, really. I mean, this is a football vlog, but we can always appreciate nature. Mother, I'll ask for your score predictions when we're in the ground, but where do you think these two teams will finish come the end of May? I think Leicester will be in the top two and Middlesbrough in the top six. Fair enough. Do you think Leicester will win the league? I mean, it'll, anything could happen in the championship, but it will take a lot of beating. And I do think Middlesbrough could win the playoffs. But then again, there's four or five different teams, including Hull City, that could win the playoffs as well. Two hours till kick off. We're nearly there. Who would all have a bit of the Beatles? Oh, what a lovely place. Just over two hours till kickoff, and I've already seen thousands of Middlesbrough fans and Leicester fans in Middlesbrough Centre. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Oh, we've got here. I am aching. <laughs> what a long drive. Father, you're looking forward to it? Yeah. That's good. Mother, are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Don't realise how big of a game this actually is. Leicester are like flying in the league, and Borough are going to complete another good comeback. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This is all very sparkly. Oh. There it is. And there it is. What a beautiful stadium that is. Probably one of the nicest in the championship. Well, that's half of it. There's a big bridge in the way. That's a bit better. What a ground. There must be 300 million worth of players in that bus. Well, we can see. <laughs> Not a lot, really. Baked beans in a burger. That's something. Oh, oh, look at that. Cheeseburger with bacon. Can it get much better than that? I mean, then off we pop. Bit more room in this one. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. In we go. Nice little concourse, this. Whoa. What a ground. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're in the stadium, and all I have to say is we're 45 minutes till kick off. The lineup's out, and Jamie yeah. Vardy's on the bench. The guy was a top goal scorer of the Premier League like five years ago. The best player in the league. And now he's on the bench in the championship. 
this Leicester team is just unreal. Now the truth is I haven't done a lineup graphic for Leicester or Middlesbrough because I wasn't too sure who would start. But to name some of the players that are on the pitch warming up, Kane and Dewsbury Hall, Chowdhury, Jamie Vardy, Ricardo Pereira, James Justin, these players are Premier League quality. It's genuinely mad to think they're playing in the Championship. Now for Middlesbrough, they don't really have too many standout stars, but they have a team that works well together. And under Michael Carrick, they're one of the best in the league. And I'm buzzing to see players like Isaiah Jones, Paddy McNair, Dale Fry, Sam Greenwood on loan from Leeds. He's a quality player. I'm just buzzing for it. Now, Mother, what's your score predictions? Fantastic. Now, going into this game, we are going as neutrals, but we're with the home men. We're sat with the Middlesbrough fans, and I'm always partial to an underdog story. For that, I'm going to go 1 0 Middlesbrough, the same as my mother. And I think it's going to be Hayden Hackney, the England wonder kid, to get the goal to send Middlesbrough fans into pandemonium. So we're joined with Kian. Borough fan, what's your score predictions, mate? Uh, I'll go 1 1. Who's scoring? Hayden Hackney. Fantastic, mate. Well, here we have it. Middlesbrough take on Leicester City in the sixteen round of the championship. I've never heard something so loud. This is incredible. And it will be Middlesbrough to take kickoff. Is that Marcus Force? I couldn't tell you. Whoa. Second time watching Leicester and they're exactly the same as what they were against Hull. Possession base side, not here to put on a show. Just to get the job done and I must admit from then passing it around, I'm going droopsy, I'm falling asleep. Nice little flags. Go on! And back to passing it around the back. Positives! You take a look at the stats, and stats are everything, but Leicester have had double the amount of passes, double the possession. One of these times, they're going to make the possession count, and that's why they're top of the league. They just sort of play with the opponents, for very late, get a goal and just hold on to it. Shoot! Ah. But all credit to Leicester, that's how they play, and that's why they're top of the league. We're a try, you know, they're not giving up at all. In fact, they've had more shots. It's not simply. Well, starting from now, we'll do a what time do the fans go for the burgers? Now, Middlesbrough is 41 minutes. <laughs> Not's going on. Five 
And there we have it, half time. Maybe nil nil. But Burra has to be proud of that. That was incredible. Dad, you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Quality, quality art. I mean, despite Leicester having all of the possessions, somehow Burra just looked like the better team. Everything seems to be going through that number 19, Coburn and Isaiah Jones, them two being top class. Matty Crooks has been very, very good in the midfield. He had a few misplaced passes in the first 10 or 15, but he's grown into the arm, had a few chances. And I'll tell you something, an underdog story could be told today. I'll tell you something, I've been extremely nervous to vlog this first half. I don't know, I still get the eebie-jeebies. I'm scared that someone will say something, but maybe second half will grow in confidence and so will Borough. City's nil-nil. Both teams have the second half, no clear substitutions, but it will be Kelechi and Acho to kick start the second half for Leicester. Right off with Pop. Free souvenir for a fan there. Lids a bit small, eh? Beautiful sunset. Poor guy. This goes in, this place is going to erupt. Oh. Now coming onto the pitch, Fatawu. What I saw against Leeds and other matches, he could be one of the best players to look out for this season. A deserved sun innovation. Well played, Matt Crooks. Was he at Man City? He's class, isn't he? Oh no. Well in. Starting to become a bit scary. Leicester have turned on the switch. They're playing fast, direct football now. Completely different to the first half. I'm trying to keep possession. I don't know what we're after to do, but I hope they do it. <laughs> oh dear. Josh Corbin comes off. Lassie Laff comes on. What a name that is! Love that guy, never seen him play. What a challenge! Challenge. This poor defense is like a brick wall. Incredible. What a save. Woo. Woo. Oh, man, eh? How is this still nil nil? There's been more shots than this that I've seen at a game for ages. That has to be a goal. I just hope it's Borough. Well in. Well in! Hey! I don't even mind if it's nil nil anymore. Just one Borough can hold out. It's been a fantastic performance. This atmosphere, some of the best I've seen. Go on! Go on. Yeah! Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> I've never seen anything like this! I've never seen anything like this! 
something like this. This is here, and he deserved that. Sam Greenwood, although he is a Leeds player, what a bloody finish! I've hardly spoke this game because of how good this atmosphere has been. Wow. Well, probably here by the champion. Jamie Vardy's come on. Play to the fellas holding the flags and waving them for the full 90 minutes. That is dedication. That yes. what are you thinking, mate? Oh, brilliant goal that night, wasn't it? Fantastic. Four minutes of added time. Oh, what it means to hold on and oh, get this win. If we win, it will be absolutely amazing. The atmosphere here is genuinely incredible. Go oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the journey that they got caught clapping then. The stadium shaking. Goosebumps, genuine goosebumps. 20 seconds to hang on. The whole stadium up singing. You never see this. I'm lost for words, genuinely. What the horror. This atmosphere. What a game. Bad way to Leicester though. From first to 90th minute, they gave it everything and they will probably win the league. But today was not their day. Come oh, on, surely now! Surely! Get it out. There it is! Whoa! Old time middle. Not too shabby at all. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> He's having a, good, having a good drink in back. Well, well, well. Full time. Middlesbrough won. Leicester City nil. And what a day and an atmosphere that was. For me, that is up there in the top three of atmospheres. My mum says it's the best ever atmosphere she's witnessed. When that free kick went in, my eardrums erupted. It was just that loud, that crazy, and genuinely one of the best days out I've had for a long, long time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you to the Riverside to see a monumental Middlesbrough win. The next video is a bit of a different one. I've been doing a bit of work for Tiger's Newsroom over the last couple of months. We've been kindly nominated in the final of the Football Content Awards held at Anfield in Liverpool. The people we get to meet on Thursday, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Up the Tigers, what a win. Up the Borough and up the Leicester as well.